I was really feeling like a bottleneck within the charity and um, that I'd grown it to a certain stage, but everything was still funneling through me and my capacity was limited. So therefore the charity's growth was limited. Very interested in helping other people. I've been around a while, I'm down the track. You know, maybe, um, maybe I could just go and lend a listening ear and a helping hand. Um, my expectation wasn't that it would be quite as transformative as it was, <laughs> um, because it was such a short amount of time in the grand scheme of things. Um, but actually, that really surprised me how much of an impact it had on me. Um, just you have some support from outside the organisation, outside the sector even, um, because what I had in me at that point didn't feel like quite enough. <laughs> to be able to process the, the challenges that I was facing, to have somebody that I could talk to and have a different perspective, perhaps, and help me grow as an individual and as a leader. Sort of outside person um, has, has nothing, n no judgment um, exactly. as to what, what should happen or what shouldn't happen. It's just a space in which to explore those possibilities. Yes, yeah. And it, it wasn't a, a role of somebody telling me what I should be doing, but actually somebody helping me unlock inside me, you know, what I knew I should be doing, but having the confidence and the, just the capacity to actually follow through on that, I think. Yeah. When you're in a place of feeling that you're overwhelmed, um, your mind is going crazy <laughs> and it's very difficult sometimes to filter out what you actually need to focus on and so the way that you approached those meetings with actually the purpose of this conversation is is around this and it wasn't that that was a rigid structure that wasn't flexible according to what was going on but um, it was a really helpful guide for me to actually step out of the chaos that I felt I was in at the time. In um talking about it and somebody else reflecting, I think you you kind of then worked out which was the important um, mm. important aspect that needed attention right now. Mm. Well, what was the main focus? Where do I really need to put my efforts? I've got all these things I could be involved in, but actually where do I need to really focus my efforts now? Mm. I think the qualities that I really appreciated that you brought to our time together was the non-judgmental listening. Um, at no point did I ever feel that there was a right or a wrong answer or statement that I was making. Um, your capacity to just hold what I was bringing to you and not feel that you needed to fix it or tell me what I should be doing, even if maybe you were thinking that inside. <laughs> um, and just the, the freedom to be vulnerable because you were completely external, um, not just to my organisation, but also to the sector that I work in. Um, knowing that you were sat there with a very different perspective, um, an ability to see through what I was bringing to you. I think I described it a little bit like having a rucksack on my back that was full of stuff and uh, every now and again something else would be put in the back and um, our time together was a bit like sitting down with you, taking that rucksack off and one by one taking things out, having a look, you may be asking me a few questions about why it was in there, what purpose it served and me deciding did I want to put it back in or not um, and gradually over the process my rucksack got a lot lighter <laughs> and uh, by the end of the, uh, the six months it was um, substantially lighter <laughs> and, and felt more purposeful you know? and I knew what was in there more importantly um, rather than just carrying around a load of things that I didn't necessarily need or were weighing me down. You felt always that you you were the expert, you know, and that there was no way, I mean, that when someone has a problem, we, we we do we can roll, roll into a fix it mode but i was really conscious of the fact that i didn't know everything you you were bringing me a, a, a praised version of what was going on and and it, it was really really special being part of that so thank you for letting me walk alongside for those few months thank you